Hello everyone. Another video, another knife. <laughs> well, I finally got it. The Down Under, the Outback. The Crocodile Dundee knife. This is lovely. I, when did I get it? I got it um, Friday. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> like the rest of the knives. But this is a very nice knife. I've been wanting this one for a long time. Box is okay. It's just stuff out in the front. Picture of the alligator there. Look. But um, this is nice. Down under the old bank. Four forty C stainless steel. See that? Extremely sharp, which it is. Anyway. Let's get this open. <laughs> I opened it Friday. <laughs> That's why there's no plastic. Now we'll show you the knife in a minute. We'll hide that for a minute. We'll show you the sheath first. Let's hide it out of the way so you don't see the knife. <laughs> Wait, we'll wait, get to that in a minute. No, the sheath first. The sheath is, is really nice. Very good quality sheath. Huh? Crocodile teeth. <laughs> I wouldn't say they're real. <laughs> but they're nice, they look nice for decoration. The sheath is very good quality. I see it there in the sun. There's a, it's windy up, but the sun is out today here. It's a nice sheath. Very well made. Smells lovely. Very pleased with it. I've been wanting this knife now for a while, you know. And I, I didn't know what to get, as I say. I'm still, I, I don't know about the Gil Hib and the Rambo, I know I've got the rest of the Rambo knives, and I do like, I love all the, the Pole Force knives and the Rambo knives, the, you know, but I'm not, I don't know, I've never really liked the machete, I'll probably need, I'll probably get it to finish off the collection, but I've decided to get this one before it, and I'm glad I did. There's no way, I wouldn't say, you know, the, the Gil Hibben, oh, fair enough, if you spend £1,500 on a, on a in real Gil Hibben, but the one, you know, that I'm going to get, what was it, 90 I think it's about 95 euro here. I can get it delivered to here, but um, I mean, I don't think it'd be as good as this. This is a lot more expensive, but the quality on this is fantastic. And then let's take this out. So this is the sharpening stone you get with it. Well, sharpening, not sharpening stone, you know. Sharpening tool, I'll call it. This is the sharpening tool. Oh, messing with my camera settings. There you go, so you can see it. Now it's in focus. Ooh. That's all it is. The crocodile teeth. Hmm. Put this back in. Now the knife. Now oh, that's nice. I like the sheath. The sheath is very nice. Now. Oh. The knife itself. The main event. <laughs> the main event. Here we go. Oh. That is so good. That is really nice. That's such a nice knife. The handle's well done. It feels really nice in the hand. Oops. 
So you get a bit picture. Down under the outback. It's razor sharp. Razor sharp. Get to see in the sun. Ooh, what's that bit on it? A bit of dust on it. Yeah. So good. Really is nice. Very pleased with this knife. As I say, I want this one for a long time. Really is nice. That is a nice knife. Beautiful. As soon as you hold it, you want to do what everyone else does in all the videos. <laughs> you know what it is. Say the magic words. <laughs> what it says in the movie. that Everyone says when they see this knife and they have this knife. But you automatically want to do it. You know what it is, don't you? <laughs> That's a knife. <laughs> Sorry about the bad Australian accent. <laughs> that really is. I'm very, very pleased with this. This is, I, I tell you what, if, you know, I've, I've heard people say it's a great knife, it is a good knife. It really is. Everyone should have this in their collection. This is. It's a beauty, an absolute beaut. It really is. I mean, you know, I'll, I said the, the pole force knives were nice. They are, which they are nice. But this, oh, this is lovely. This, this really is a nice knife. This is, I'm going to say, is my top, I'd say, three. This is beautiful. This really is a work of art. You know, I'm telling you, it feels so good in the handle. In the hand, sorry, the handle feels so good. It's just lovely. Really is nice. You cannot, I mean, look at it. You cannot look at that, beat that. That is lovely. Such a good knife. I mean, most of the ones I, I mean, when I was getting this, I was looking at YouTube myself. They're all old. There are a lot, there's a lot of, a lot of the reviews on this knife, they're old, you know, but it's so good. So that's it now, really. I haven't got any more knives to review. I'm, I might, I'm looking at getting a little torch. I might put a torch up the next time. I'm, I'm looking at an emulent. emulent uh, I was looking at the MS-03, and then I see there's a... Uh, MSR, and I'm oh, sorry, an R60C. I was looking at that. I did which one to get, and then I was looking at a new. There's a new Acer Beam E70, small little one. Oh, so I've been looking at getting one. So I might get one of them. I might. I'm. Oh, I don't know what to. Get. I was looking at through night T TN TN20. I'm looking at the Acer Beam E70, and then I'm gone. Then looking at the Imulent R. No, sorry, R30C. That's what I've narrowed it down to. So I just don't know which one to get. If anyone has any uh, preferences or any, if they have any, you know, experience with them torches, just let me know in the comments. But, you know, and then I'll order it and I might, I'll do a review on that when I get it. But as I say, this is fantastic. Very, very pleased with it. Anyway, that's just a quick video. Don't want to drag it on too long. Let's... People get bored and they get annoyed and it goes on and on and on. You know, like when I'm watching videos, they go on and on and on. All you want to see is you're interested in is the knife. So that's it. Thanks everyone for watching the videos and thanks for all the subscribers. And thanks for the nice comments. All right. Take it steady, lads. Take it steady, everyone. And... See you in the next one. Cheers. Thanks.
One more shot. Drive by. Ready? Whoosh. That's so good. See ya.